yogis, my name is Debbie and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your yoga teacher for today and please subscribe if you haven't already and remember to click the bell and it will alert you every time I post a new class. Today's practice is super gentle. It's, uh, it's a way of giving your body a hug from the inside out and the focus is on perimenopausal and menopausal symptoms, even PMT. You know, we're just finding some softness a bit with a little bit of compression into the lower belly and down into the pelvic floor and really cooling the body down and taking this moment to pause so we can go within. So today, if you've got a bolster, fantastic. If you don't, you could grab a couple of cushions. Um, if you've got blocks, you could use that instead. Uh, and then a blanket or a towel, whatever you've got lying around at home. So pause the video, get what you need and come back. I'll be waiting for you. Shall we get started? Let's come and sit up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears and just bowing the chin to the chest. Taking this moment to arrive on your mat and honoring yourself for showing up, for carving out the time to be here today. Taking the moment for yourself, for self-care, self-love. And just connecting with the breath, inhaling, coming through the crown, down, down, down. Exhale into the bowl of the pelvis. Two more just like this, just getting nice and grounded, inhaling down, down, down. Exhale into the bum, the legs, the groin and the feet. So really connecting to the root chakra, which involves everything from the pelvic floor down. Last round, inhaling down, down, down. Exhale into the bum, the legs, the groin and the feet. And from the bowl of the pelvis, Inhaling up, up, up. Lips closed, exhaling through the crown. <clears throat> Two more, inhaling up, up, up. Exhaling through the crown. Last one here, inhaling up, up, up. Exhaling through the crown. Bring the hands together at prayer, bowing your chin to the heart. And as a reminder to connect towards your body and towards yourself from a place of love and compassion. If you'd like to set an intention for this practice, and if you're not sure what to ask for, I always ask that my body is open and my mind is clear and you can add anything to that. Inhale, gently open the eyes. And lift the gaze. Okay, yogis, let's us start lying all the way down on our back. I'm just going to slide the bolster out of the way, bend the knees, feet on the floor, and just lowering down vertebrae by vertebrae. A robot arm here. Walk the feet back, pressing down through the backs of the arms and the feet. Inhale, float the hips up. Exhale, lower down. Think of this like your cat cow. Inhaling, lifting up, 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 up. Exhaling, lowering down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lift, stay up, inhale. And then grab your blocks. I'm going to grab the bolster here. Exhale. And remember, it's not your deepest stretch. You're just pausing, 
take the feet wide and let your knees knock in so you're just feeling this nice release through the outer hips in your lower back and snuggle the shoulder blades in there. So we're just opening the front body. There's a gentle back bend here. And through the crown of the head, inhaling down, down, down. Exhale into the bowl of the pelvis. And again, through the crown, inhaling down. Exhale into the bum, the groins, the legs and the feet. Just connecting to the element of earth. Just getting super soft and grounded here. Exhaling the breath out through the legs and the feet. Stay with the rhythm of your breath. Maybe you're working with five and five on the inhale. Five on the exhalation. Just cultivating awareness. What is the count of your breath? Where does it feel most conscious? You're breathing deeper than just shallow breathing. Take three more cycles of breath on your own, even breathing. Last cycle of breath here, inhale. Just nourishing every cell of your body, exhaling. From here, I actually want one of these blankets. So grab your blanket or your towel, not the most elegant way to grab it, but I knew it was there. And you're just going to roll your blanket up. And again, if you don't have a blanket or a towel handy, it's all good. You don't need it, but it just brings in this element of gentle massaging into the lower region and just bring your hands here and just stay here. This feels really good. And again, working with even breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling into the bowl of the pelvis. You could even give your little ankles a circle here if you wanted any movement. But maybe you're just looking for ultimate stillness. And then other way. And point and flex. Open and close the toes. And then just pause. Just notice the breath nourishing every cell of your body. Cooling the body down, calming the parasympathetic nervous system, bringing your body into rest and digest. Just 
notice when your mind wanders off and begins to dial into some kind of conversation or thought. And just come back to the breath over and over again. No judgment, just observation today. Just know that you're exactly where you're meant to be. Nourishing your nervous system. Tending to your self-care. Three more cycles of breath. Last cycle, yes. Draw the knees together. Press down through the feet. Inhaling, lifting the hips up. Slide the bolster out and just roll the shoulders under or you could grab the edges of the mat. Four more cycles of breath, press down through the feet, inhale. Exhaling here. Two more cycles. Inhaling, lifting up, lowering down. Just draw the knees into the chest, roll to the side. And lifting yourself all the way up. Good. So option one, if you don't have a bolster, you can just keep the blanket. Option two, I'm going to use the bolster because I have it, but this could be pillows. I'm going to hug the bolster in. Flex the feet. Your knees could be bent if you have tight hamstrings. And I'm actually just going to fold the blanket up. So I don't, I'm not stretch, over stretching, I just want to land. So I'm lifting up, the bolster's resting in, and my forehead is resting on the bolster. And I'm here. Most important part of the pose is the breath, even breathing. And if you can't grab your feet, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Don't get caught up with it. You could hold the bolster. You could just gently rest your hands down. Or you could bend the knees and be here like this. There's many, many options. Don't get caught up in flexibility. Just focus on what you can do. And this is just giving yourself permission to pause and let go. When you're breathing, breathe so deeply that you can feel the belly expand into the bolster. On the exhale, the belly is narrowing and the waist is retracting. If the mind has wandered, come back to the breath. Take five more cycles of breath here. Just hugging your body from the inside out. Let the breath pour and spill into the back body. Exhaling into the back waist. Good. 
and inhaling lifting yourself up mmm feels so good exhaling here so bring the bolster behind you and now this blanket is going to be a pillow for my head the bolster I'm not sitting on it it's just resting into the back of the sacrum there I'm bending my knees and gently lying myself down take the feet wide palms facing out and drop the knees in and again if you don't have a bolster don't worry about it you could be lying on a couple of um, pillows from your bed you could stack them or you could even be lying on a folded up blanket or you could just be lying on the ground and then walk your feet together and then the knees drop open and again through the crown of the head breath coming down 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 the spine exhaling into the bowl of your pelvis inhaling down exhaling into the bowl of the pelvis Stay here with the breath. Inhaling through the crown down. Exhale into the bum, the groin, the legs and the feet. Inhaling down. Exhale into the bum, the groin, the legs and the feet. Five more cycles of breath. Just bring your awareness to your third eye and just let it soften. Two more cycles of breath here. Draw the knees together and pressing down, just lifting yourself up or you can roll to the side. And you've got a couple of options here coming into Shavasana. You could have the bolster underneath your knees or the pillows or even the blanket. And that feels really good in my body. And then I'm just going to rest this blanket. You can put it completely over you. I'm just going to have it resting on the hips and taking a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out. And 
coming back to the third eye, bring your focus to the third eye. And exhale here. And from the third eye, you're going to bring your awareness straight back behind your eyes. And exhale here. And then in drawing that awareness and come all the way back into the middle of your skull. And then to the back of the skull. And you're up quite high. So you've left the, the front part of the brain as the thinking part. And now you're sitting, residing in the top back part of the brain. And like a stone dropping all the way down into a swimming pool. Let the exhale go down, down, down. And your awareness is now dropping into the bottom, deepest, quietest back part of the skull. And this is where the non-thinking part of the brain is. Maybe the thoughts and emotions are bubbling to the surface. And just stay here. No more conscious breathing, just normal, shallow breathing. Start to bring the awareness back into your body through subtle movement of fingers and toes. Lifting arms up and over the head as you breathe in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. And drawing your knees into the chest, giving yourself that well-deserved hug and a big squeeze in. And then rolling to the side, taking a moment to pause. Oh, how are you feeling? It's just so good to slow down sometimes. I have a tendency to kind of move everything at quite a fast pace. And then bring the hands together at prayer, bowing the chin in a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for the practice and gratitude for all the abundance in our already beautiful life. Let's close by focusing on what is really good in life right now. Attitude of gratitude. Think of three new things that you are extremely grateful for in this moment. Pray the third eye. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. I hope you found that super calming and cooling for your body. And uh, if you found it helpful, leave me some feedback in the comments below. And let me know if you want more classes like this. 
have a beautiful day or a beautiful evening wherever you are in the world. See you soon.